Hi everyone, welcome to my channel BigBangChemistry.com. Today I'm going to explain the molecular symmetry of, the, of a perfect tetrahedral molecule of AB4 type molecule. Before explaining the, all the symmetry elements, we must know that how we represent a tetrahedral molecule in molecular symmetry, what are the symmetry elements present in this molecule and what is the distinct symmetry operations. For knowing these things, for getting the idea about these elements and these operations, please stay tuned with me. So these are the symmetry elements present in this molecule. 3C2, 4C3, 4C3 twice, 6 sigma D, which is your what uh, dihedral plane. 3s4 and 3s4 thrice and what are the distinct symmetry operation of this molecule is what one identity 3c2 4c3 4c3 twice 6 sigma d 3s4 and 3s4 3 these are the symmetry elements present in the what perfect tetrahedral molecule so that's why the order of symmetry of this molecule is what 24 but now here is one question that how we represent a tetrahedral molecule in molecular symmetry so before understanding the all the symmetry element and its operation in a molecular symmetry we must know that how we represent a tetrahedral molecule in molecular symmetry what is the general way to represent a tetrahedral molecule when whenever we get a structure of a molecule like a tetrahedral molecule when when we get a structure of a molecule is tetrahedral so what we do we draw the what normal tetrahedral structure like that this is your what central atom a this is your what b atom b atom b atom b atom but with the help of this tetrahedral structure it is very difficult to perform and to show the presence of this symmetry element with the help of symmetry operations so to simplify this problem what we do we represent a tetrahedral molecule in a cube in a perfect cube but this is my cube but this cube may not be perfect but we will try to understand the representation of this tetrahedral molecule in cube with the help of this cube so how we represent a tetrahedral molecule in a cube so first of all we will write the what central atom is what our a central atom is this one at the center of the cube then we will put the b atom at the alternate corner of cube there's b this is the b atom this is the b atom and this is the b atom for our understanding what we do we will mark this b atom as a word b1 b2 b3 and b4 right so when we will join all the b atom with the central atom a then which type of structure is visible after that we can say that 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 visible structure is nothing it is your what it had structure so try to join all the b atom with the a so after joining the all the b atom with the a then we find that one tetrahedral structure is visible so now from this example it is clear that we use the tetrahedral molecule in a cube by putting the b atom on alternate corner of a perfect cube with the central atom of the center of the cube so with the help of this cube we will try to understand the presence of each symmetry element in the perfect tetrahedral molecule of ab4 type molecule but in a single video it is very difficult to show the presence of all the symmetry element present in this molecule right because when you will check the symmetry element then you will find that this molecule is having what principal axis of rotation proper axis of rotation and the what one special type of plane which is your what sigma d in next series of video i will try to explain the presence of each symmetry element and its symmetry operation with the help of some proper example so i hope that in next video we will understand everything thank you very much